This is what we are going to make today. Relay. We need a Raspberry Pi and a table lamp and a computer. So first we are going to start with the relay. First one what I see on my right hand side that will go to ground so I'll just connect it with this pin and the second one is the 5 volt DC and this is the signal which will light switch on and off so if I put 1 then the light will switch on if I put 0 the light will switch off now this 1 and 0 will come from the Raspberry Pi first let me connect the other side of the relay first two below my finger okay now it is ready we need 5 volt powers one of the pin which we will be using that 5 volt power and then the second one is ground so that this will be connected so we will be using pin number 34 and then we will be using GPIO 11 this is for the signal yeah so already we connected uh, the relay with the light and we have this other, other side of the uh, relay which we have to connect to the Raspberry Pi my Raspberry Pi is now connected with my relay and the relay is now connected with the light uh, only thing is I have to put power to start it so let's start with the coding our hardware is ready now let's start coding we will code on a node red uh, node red is installed already in the raspberry pi i'm opening it the ip address colon 1880 and uh, this is where we will go so it's the ip address colon 1880 is where your node red is hosted so the first one is we have to find out a block using which will uh, trigger the signal at gpio 11 so we pull this you can see this this is rpi gpio out so whatever the value will give here it will go on gpio pin and it only accepts one or zero so what we'll do is we'll just configure it uh, double click and it comes i say is gpio 11 and i say initially the pin state should be zero so that means it will be switched off i'll give a name is switch and i'm done uh, I'll now create the user interface so uh, I'll use a user interface element UI element called switch and I'm connecting it I'll go to dashboard I'll create a tab I'll name it my tab and then I'll create another group here and we'll name it light it I'll put it at the top so that whenever I open the page it comes and then I'll go to switch and it is already connected so I'm using this now I'm done and I deploy it okay now the UI part so I open my UI and it should show me only one switch it is showing me a switch I switch on switch off nothing is happening did something wrong yes so here we go so we said the payload is true it is boolean true or false it doesn't work so actually you have to put one and then and the number is zero now it will work I deploy it I come here do I switch on yes switch off have the switch and I touch it it came up on UI also you are seeing that it is switched on and then I again switch it on.